Vita and Elvis take us on a tour of Vita's wildlife home garden. Can you see it? Ah. Right, right. Mm-hmm. It does look fearsome. Mm-hmm. If a long mouth party, just grab them and suck them out. <laughs> <laughs> At the back of the house is a steep cutting with the forest beyond. At the front of the house, the garden slopes steeply to the garden boundary. And here we have a pomegranate. I think I planted that earlier this year. This is a tangerine. I actually had it in a container and forgot about it because the, the grass grew over it and it was fighting its way so I said you know what since you're fighting so hard let me see how well you do so it's still fighting it is it's looking yeah. in good yeah, it's condition it's yes. looking better than this one this is a lime um, oh, one right. of the silver sweet, silver sweet right, yeah. right, right. I had this planted since 2018 Mm. in a pot but I put it in the soil in 2020 close to the end of 2020 so it's and not it's made a lot of progress no, has it no uh, it's not died though no. no it's still it's still striving actually it's looking much better than it was yeah what a challenge you have with your sight mm -hmm. going down that steep slope yeah so, so this is actually my entrance road, ah. my um, driveway, and then I have a planting planted on there, mm. and a few coconuts along the way as well. So is the edge here, the flat edge, is that the end of your land, or do you go yes. further down into the... No, where it's cut, where the mm. trees are cut out, yeah. that's the edge, and there's a drop. Yeah, I can see there's a drop, yeah. yes. Yeah. There's a pineapple as well. White pineapple. Yeah. I didn't even know there were different kinds of pineapple, so I'm yeah, learning. Yeah. Alright, and you can see it full of worms too. Right? Just eating the leaves. Oh, I see, yes, the leaves are yeah, loaded, loaded. being eaten away. Mm -hmm. Eating the foliage, mm -hmm. the worms. Mm -hmm. the Season. Mm -hmm. We haven't had any water for the day. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's why we were doing that. So we have sorrel. I just picked the sorrels yesterday. Okay. This is the eggplant. And the habareno pepper. Hot pepper. Yeah. Um, then we have some spring onions and an okra too and then we have what's called arugula and um, what was the other one mustard greens but well, i probably might have to take out these ones they're old over here is mostly um tea bush mostly so i have um cat mint this is the sweet basil I'm not sure what's the name of this one, but it's a tea bush as well. It's really nice. Um, and uh, this is the regular basil behind here. Okay. That's the regular basil. You know, I tried to grow that. Oh, and really? I, got, I, I got the seeds to uh -huh. germinate and then I planted them out. And the, the pigeons absolutely loved the leaves oh, they, okay, they stripped okay. the whole thing back to nothing okay. i got three trees in that box as big as this yeah and i have rosemary and this is the oregano well a very nice selection yeah yeah and this is the french thyme and then some long for cabbage. Yeah. Mm. And I'm definitely impressed with your bananas. Yeah. <laughs> so when will they be ready for eating? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I 
don't know. How much? She, she wants to shoot three months after. Really? She wants to come out. Okay, yeah, well, I'm, I'm sure three months eat. already passed. Yes. You want to cook them? You can cook them green as well. Yeah. As, as, mm -hmm. Okay, so I could probably pick some now then. Cook, 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 yeah. yes. mm -hmm. They look small still, that's mm -hmm. why I, I never good, man, picked good. any. And then and the behind you have the pigeon peas behind there? Yes. Mm -hmm. All the peas. Yeah. And the bees. The pots have been there for a while. Um, because I'm still trying to decide where to put them mm. on the land. Yeah. That's the problem. So is that where Elvis can help by saying what yes. kind of situation yes. they need? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Maybe you know, whether they need shade or... Yeah. The most that's fruit tree, the one full sun. Oh. Full sun for fruit trees. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I have the meringue. What's uh, that good for? Yeah. Um, it's a medicinal plant as well. And you can also eat the leaves. Mm -hmm. right. Tree of life. Tree of life. It's oh, right. The tree of life. Yeah. And a pot as well. You can eat the seeds from the pot as well. Mm -hmm. Medicinal plant. Mm -hmm. The avocado. Mm -hmm. This is a bread nut. I yes. think I got this one from um, agriculture. I think so. Um, and that's a tamarind. This is a, a plum rose. Yes. This one is a mango behind here. I guess that the mangoes take a long time to grow into a tree that produces fruit. Yeah. This is a palm. It's actually grown from seed. I got it from one of the trees down my bank of Montserrat. Okay. Ah. Yeah. So. So how did, did you just put the seeds in the soil and it grew? Yes. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's the other one, I think. Oh, this yes. This one is the yellow. I think this one is the yellow. Yeah, fruit. yeah. So is that related to a prickly pear? Do you get that kind of the dragon fruit? Is that like yeah, the exactly. fruit on a prickly mm -hmm. pear? This one is bigger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, you can Spanish tamarind. Okay. Be a round fruit. Well, how big? Right. How big does it get? You can be, but like I said, we always cut them back. You know. Mm. Mm -hmm. Tastes okay. similar to the regular tamarind. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is your other prickly pear? Yeah. And next to it, there are some aloes. This is the golden apple. I put it in the ground in August and it's bearing fruit already. It's doing really well. Yeah. Is there any fruit on it at the moment? They've started. Oh, those, those yeah. are the starts of the and fruit. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so okay. There's the white sorrel. That was red lady in expander. It's white. She's coming out now. So what is the sorrel used for? Making drink. Mm -hmm. So on Christmas time, everybody yeah. want a sour drink, a ginger beer. Ah. Mm -hmm. No Christmas without your sour, eh? <laughs>